That's what you can do on a D chord. You wouldn't expect to start from the fifth string, but I'm telling you, trust me, like, I've seen enough of my favorite guitar players playing, my idols, my the legends, you might say, and you can see what their fingers are doing. You can see how many different differences there may be, what might suit the song. And this is not always what you want. For example, on the G chord, you might want to go to the thickest string and then to the fourth string. That's kind of weird. And now you're skipping out the fifth string entirely. It doesn't do anything. Now what I'll do is I'll shut up and I'll do it slowly. changing with the left hand. Well, I told you square one is just one string. If you can't do that, you got no business trying to do anything else. But you can do it. I, I believe if you followed all these lessons, you can do that. You can see my keychain because I don't have it on. Okay, so we talked about. I have to elaborate on what you're talking about. I don't say anything stupid. Or do so at your own risk. Because this has been a definitive video for beginning. Sometimes you don't want to even occupy all those fingers at all. It's a lot of stuff happening. Sometimes you want to play with one finger. It's kind of lazy. And at that point, you need real picking accuracy to it. achieve the same volume as a picked note. But there's a time and a place for it. What did we just do? And I played a G for all. No, it's not the G you're going to play forever, but third string. Third string's in the center of it, of course. Second string. Fourth string. A tricky one there. Now for the A, it's just one finger once again. But you see me do this kind of move frequently. Pull off. 